Okay, everyone. In this class, we focus on applications of Newton's laws of motion. Even though the other two laws are very helpful, Newton's second law is the most useful one, especially this formula right here, whenever we have many, many of these problems in this 1251 class. So Newton's second law is the case when there's an object acting on that object whenever we have a net force, non-zero net force. So we can relate that non-zero net force to the mass and the acceleration, which the object is going to move on because of the effect of this net or the total force. F equals ma. Again, remember, left-hand side, this is the total net force. And again, this guy right here, whenever you have a 2D problem, X direction and Y direction, whenever you consider the total force, net force along the X direction, acceleration should be along the X direction. When you consider the total force, net force along the Y direction, you should substitute the acceleration along the Y direction, okay? And again, going back to our Newton's first law, whenever the net force equals to zero situation, Newton's second law, when there's a non-zero net force, Newton's first law, when there's a zero net force, left-hand side, according to this formula, acceleration zero, we already learned about these two scenarios. That's what Newton's first law talk about, acceleration zero or a stationary object, or an object moving with constant velocity, if the net force acting on the object is zero, okay? And the other one, Newton's third law, the most popular one you may have heard. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. But in this class, we are interested about interactions. An object and a force, what is the interaction? So we have, there's a pair of forces acting on the two interacting objects. Let's see, if there's a wall, if I'm going to hit this wall, there is going to be a force by my hand acting on the wall. Again, this is where I represent the wall. Here's the force by my hand acting on the wall. There's going to be a pair of forces. The wall is reacting on me as well. Action reaction pair we have. Whenever we have these type of interactions, this is a contact force. The force by my hand acting on the wall, the reaction force is going to be acting on my hand. That's why when we hit something, we feel it back the force by the wall acting on my hand. So when we have these action-reaction pairs, they are equal in magnitude, same, same length in the arrow, but arrow heads are opposite in direction, okay? So all three Newton's laws are considered. Now, when we consider applying Newton's second law problems, everyone remember the must, we must draw force diagram or a free body diagram considering all the forces could act on the object of interest or objects of interest if we have two, three objects in this scenario. Convenient coordinate system, X and Y directions is a must. Similar to this problem, if we have a box or a sled, is moving in a direction. If the problem gives you an acceleration direction, in this case, 1.20 meters per second squared, right here, I am picking X direction to be along the same direction as the given acceleration. This way, whenever you apply Newton's second law, you have F equals MA along the X direction. Here we go acceleration is the given number along the x direction. Along the y direction, acceleration is zero since this box is not moving or the sled is not in motion along the y direction. And the next step, 
if you have any forces diagonal with angles measured from x direction definitely have the components f cosine theta f sine theta you will need consider those components along the x direction y direction when you perform f equals ma along the x direction f equals ma along the y direction and when you set up these two equations the only last thing you have to do use those two equations to find the unknowns okay so these are the steps we are going to perform whenever we are solving any newton second law problem and here i have an example to show you following those steps anytime whenever we have a situation just sketch it and consider what are the directions of motion later i am going to have one of my axes along this way along the acceleration two along the acceleration one and again even though we know these accelerations are the same a1 and a2 to practice let's go with a1 and a2 if we had numbers for m1 and m2 we can find the unknown a1 and a2 to be the same number <coughs> okay now i'm starting labeling these force of gravity acting on the mass m1 there's going to be a normal force by the surface on the mass m1 tension force is going to pull it forward let's assume m2 is bigger enough this whole thing is going to move this way tension the tension force is pulling it forward since it is moving forward there's going to be a backward friction kinetic friction kinetic friction this guy still has hanging mass mass has the force of gravity there's going to be a tension force that's all this is not leaning to the surface or not touching the surface and if someone needs you can start solving the problem by this force diagram or you could pick all the forces acting on the mass m1 free body diagram acceleration a1 is matching my direction x i picked free body diagram for the mass m2 the hanging mass direction y is matching the acceleration a2 if i follow this guy here we go we have the free body diagram for the mass m1 now i am going to apply newton's second law if total equals mass times acceleration for the mass one along the x direction acceleration is along the x direction and right here force of tension is in the positive x direction but kinetic friction is along the negative x direction that's why we have a negative sign and when you take the m to the right hand side you can find the unknown acceleration if i know these two numbers and the mass same way along the y direction y is positive upward you will get normal force minus force of gravity since it is downward and acceleration is zero there's no any acceleration along the y direction you will get that dynamic equilibrium the object is in motion but along the y direction equilibrium along the y direction and going forward to mass m2 all we have to consider along the y direction we know this guy is hanging mass it's not moving along the x direction here we go we apply the f equals ma we have the acceleration downward and force gravity on mass 2 is downward but tension force is upward that's why this negative sign there we go you can find the unknown acceleration same as this problem any scenario you have in hand if you follow these steps apply newton's second law that's all you have to do in any given problem okay